V2. This one more, um, I just wanted to show you tutorial related why macro is so important. You know, um, I really focus on the economic macro though because, you know, I'm really aiming this at the lower level players who don't have as good of macro at everything else and don't have very good micro. So, you know, it's in this, I'm not specifically doing good macro all around, but I'm specifically doing very good economic macro. So anyways, let's jump into the game. We've got a uh, Vate Knight as one of my opponents was Zerg and Protoss Zerg Silent. And once again, mirror matchup, my ally Zerg, Tombian, and I am Protoss in this game. So there we go. Uh, those are the player introductions. And basically what's going to happen in this game is you're going to see us being very aggressive early on, which is something I don't usually do that well, um, but I'm doing quite well in this game. And of course, I do notice on my mini-map this uh, drone come in, so I instant, so you know, but I'm not worried about a proxy anything from a drone, so I didn't send anyone to follow him, but I'm keeping an eye in here in case the Protoss comes in, trying to do some sort of funny cannon rush. And of course, I'm scouting their bases, don't see anything too weird, um, and they're, you know, so anyways, there comes their probe, and I was a little late on noticing that. So he might have been able to slip in a proxy pylon. I just noticed it now before it started attacking, mind you. So just going to say, oh, going to attack you. But he, ah, this guy comes in and helps out. So, you know, i got to run this probe away to safety. Anyways, let's speed this up. As you can see, my ally doing some nice work at moving his uh, overlords around. I'm hiding this one here. The great thing is I see this expansion coming down. And I had already asked my ally, I was like, let's do a zealot, a zealot, uh, zergling early attack, early push. I see this and I say, sweet, they are expanding, means they're going to have less units, means that our attack will be that much better. So, let's see in the message log. Yeah, I haven't talked to him about anything else yet, but I did, as you can see, say, let's go do that. And... I'm really not doing any specific build other than the fact that I'm not getting the second gas uh, that you can see talking to him. I'm not getting the second gas anytime soon, but I'm still producing a few extra probes. Not right at this minute. Um, I will be, but right now I'm focusing just on getting those zealots out, and that's why I'm not getting that second gas. It's very, very heavy on the. So there we go, making sure our units are nicely together for attacking this. Uh, sort of poked up there to see what they had. They had a cannon and some defenses, but we have a huge army, so I just decide, let's go for it. Coming in here to do a lot of damage. We're probably not going to come out of this ahead, um, especially with those reinforcing roaches, and I pull his roaches away because I said, dude, I looked and I was like, they're going to die. Uh, there's too much there, so I pulled them away to save them for another day. As you can see, uh, red, dark, blue, it's actually pretty much exactly tied, but the big advantage we have is economics. As you can see, I've already got this base on the way, um, slowly getting some saturation. This base is saturated other than that gas, and my ally here is starting to get his base up as well, so definitely hurt them a lot that. But now they're making a push out, and let's see, what do they do? Scouting. Oh no, that's my units. Never mind, that's not them. Those are my units, so they're sort of on the back foot now. They're playing quite defensively because of our early aggression. I'm just scouting around, making sure they don't take these bases, because when I look at the map, these are the bases I would take if I was down here. And of course, this one as well is the one you want to take. That's why I took it right here. Um, but that's why I took these, and of course, I'll take that later on. Uh, I don't know why I chose this over that. I decided this was more hidden. And of course, um, yeah, we just got owned in the face. Do you want to watch that? Sure you do. I know you guys love watching battles. <laughs> so, yeah, here we go. So I saw their units with the control of the watchtower. And the biggest problem here is I just can't warp in enough units. I think all of my warp gates are on cooldown. Uh, let's see, can I press... No, I can't press W to bring them all up. Anyways, uh, if, yeah, most of them are on cooldown. So anyways, regrouping our army here. And let's slow this down to normal, or faster I should say, which is normal to me. So try and get units as much as I can. Force field placement, it's decent, not amazing. We're getting good concave. It actually is a huge difference though, because look at all these units that aren't attacking. So definitely a big difference. We are outnumbered in terms of army size. 
Um, but if you look at the units lost tab, teal and purple, how are we faring? Ooh, no, we're getting wasted. So <laughs> lose, lose for us. And of course, this nexus is already finished. Um, and I'm gonna have to cancel that. I was like, dude, why? <laughs> so cancel that. Thankfully, they don't scout my hidden expansion. And this nexus, just the loss of 400 for me. And now warp in units. Now that my warp gate's cooled down, going straight for stalkers. He's got the mutas. The mutas are gonna be pretty decent. But then again, oh, wow, that's weird. It switched vision on me. I must have been pressing buttons. Sorry, guys. Uh, if we look at units lost, of course, we're losing. Let's look at the APM tab. As we can see, I'm not a very high APM player, you know. So, and my ally here, not much higher either. So, as you can see, though, I don't know why my APM spiking so high. I'm not really doing anything. Oh, I was warping units as well, I guess. I don't know. And I back out my units because I don't want them to die when there's not enough of them. And these mutas can't be shot by the ground. I'm letting him decide if he wants to waste his mutas on these stalkers. After a little bit, I do notice this army is weak enough that I can bring mine in. So, you know, I'm going to bring mine in soon and mop up. Horse Warpy and a few more units scrambling. Um, oh yeah, putting down some cannons here as well. That's part of what... And now they're doing a very good job forcing. But the thing is, I've got my army back in here now reinforced through some force fields, forces them to run away, and of course getting ready to expand again. So one of the things I really want you to take from this game is even though you're going to notice our unit's lost count is always going to be astronomically high, because we take so many expansions is the main reason why we are able to win this. So now I'm finally saying, oh I need to get some, oh no I already got charged, just finished blank, soon I should remember to use these and get upgrades. I totally forgot for the longest time. I feel like such a noob. Anyways, uh, our opponents are doing pretty good on getting some upgrades and stuff. And I opted not to go Colossi. I decided I'm going to get some high temps. But one thing that I'm not used to with high temps that really screwed me up is when you hotkey your whole army together, I didn't make a separate one for my high temps, which was a huge mistake. Uh, when you hotkey them all together, I'm trying to use my sentry and force field and guardian shield, and it's on the high temps. So, yeah, you'll notice that in the in a big battle down here. I just get totally wasted. So anyways, you can see our Protoss player here just had uh, three warp... Oh no, he had the ones up here. So he's been running off of, you know, a few warp gates, and now he's getting out some stargates. And, of course, as he's getting his upgrades, very good on him for that. Ooh, some nice harass by my ally here. Um, and his mutas definitely greatly outnumber these stalkers. That's part of the reason why he stayed there and just kept fighting. Um, it was, it's hard to say if it was worth the damage or not because he lost a few, but whatever. So here we are, opponents getting feces to work on, mainly to counter the uh, mutas. I guarantee you there's no other reason. Uh, the Zerg opponent here has an in-base hatchery to help him. Uh, let's see, but the biggest problem here for them is, look, this is not fully saturated, it should be, and the Protoss player does not have another base, so they're really falling behind quickly. As I'm now on three pieces, other than gas, this one's almost saturated. <laughs> Super heavy cannon defense. Even though, like, I just wasted a ton of money on cannons because they never found those bases and the Zerg player never went muta. So that's what I get for not scouting. <laughs> As you can see, keeping my army on the watchtower, got some a nice mix there, and of course the big important part is I've got tons and tons and tons of income. If you look at the income tab, just skyrocketing above everybody. Uh, it's not as high as I'd love to see it, but oh well. Anyways, my expansions are defended enough that we can get the mutas there for reinforcement, if nothing else, so <laughs> but it was a waste of a lot of resources. And as you can see, I've, yeah, I'm finally getting around to getting those upgrades. Took me forever to think about it. Um, finally remembered to turn my last gateway into a warp gate. Uh, so that's going to help a tiny bit. Just, just scouting around, making sure that they're not... Even though he's got his overlords placed, I'm still scouting. Especially this one. I, you would see with the, I guess you would see it no matter what. I'm still scouting around just in case. And of course my ally double expanding. Very smart, Zerg. And, ooh, I'm missing out on the big battle. Sorry, guys. This is the one where I screw up because if we look at uh, look at my player cam and we'll go into first person. So, warping some units and blah, blah, blah. Okay, now I see the army down there on my mini-map going down. I feed back the overseer because I'm trying to throw down force fields. I have no clue why my, storm, why my force fields aren't going down when finally I realize it's my high temp, so finally getting my storms off. Some delicious storms because he didn't micro out of those. 
So a ton of damage, but would have done a ton more if I had realized that earlier. And of course, pulling back because I saw this huge army. Not much I could do though, the stalkers blinking. And yeah, going up here so I can warp in a ton of stalkers. And thankfully those stalkers were preoccupied with something. So they weren't, <laughs> of course, suiciding in my Templars instead of morphing them. And here we go, now I'm just like, screw that battle. I'm gonna look at my my bases and my macro again. So, <laughs> uh, anyways, I really like doing player cam. So let's see what this player is up to. Uh, he's just focusing in base on his macro. Oh, now he's looking at his units, bringing them back home. Oh, let's see what Red is doing. So Red, focused on this battle. Um, as you can see, he's only got his Zergling selected, so doing absolutely no macro. And of course, run, because my army came in to reinforce that. As you can see, we have a combined army here. And my ally just <laughs> slowly getting some workers out. Really bad on uh, saturation there. Um, wow, he just doesn't have that many workers at all. Did they get killed off in a raid that I missed? Well, I am so sorry, guys, if I missed some sort of raid that killed them off. Uh, Would have had to have been a Phoenix raid, but... Yeah, he's just got none. I'm the only one who has a healthy number. And of course, getting this expansion up the gold and getting the gas. And if we look at the tech, I am now bringing out Stargates and a Fleet Beacon because I want a mothership. Hell yeah. And I might get some carriers too. But so far, our opponents really haven't been teching up that much and it's really helped us, uh, which has been a good thing. So as you can see here, I don't have any temps in my army because of the freaking hotkey fiasco from previously, I was like, uh, yeah, I just want to be able to use my, um, <laughs> my force fields. So, you know, I got a really micro-intensive army and didn't even micro it. I got blink stalkers, <laughs> I got sentries, and then I went for, um, attempts as well. It wasn't exactly the best choice. So as you can see here, we're just sort of, uh, just sort of, you know, dancing around our armies. We're standing here, they're sort of saying, ugh. Don't want to engage that quite yet so as you can see some force fields going down gonna make quite a bit of difference majority of this uh, zerg army is doing nothing my ally was a little slow to come in i should have pulled his units in with me too because we are sharing control but mainly because of that force field and better positioning we are going to take this battle and of course i'm warping a handful of zealots because i can no other reason and if we go back to the income tab because production is boring right now as you can see i'm still getting more because I'm building or getting this expansion, but a lot of my transfers are going to come from here as well as. Nope. I don't have money to transfer. So I'm going to transfer whatever's left over from here. And then, of course, um, these units got by these. So what do I do? I just warp in a wall of zealots because the last thing I want is I'm doing a run by into our main, even though there's nothing here to protect. So, <laughs> really, um, yeah, he should have pulled these drones off to fight or something. His mutas clean up the zealots, so, so it's not really a big deal. Uh, if we look at the APM tab, you can see um, my APM still hasn't gone up that much on an average. Of course, his APM was pretty high because he's been dealing with that fighting, and now he's also looking at uh, finally saturating his bases. So, a little slow on that. And look at the production tab. Yeah, I have a mothership coming out. That makes me so happy. And is there anything else interesting to look at? As you can see, just Oh yes, units lost tab. Um, <laughs> we just, like after a while, we started having way better armies. Um, but as you can see, we just lost tons and tons. Like, yeah, okay, so we're not really that far behind them in units lost. Uh, or, you know, but as you can see, it just, we lost a ton. And of course they quit there. As soon as my mothership comes out, they quit. It was so disappointing. But if we just sort of skip through the game and we look at the units lost tab, um, Oh, that's when it was equal. As you can see, we're the bottom two on the units lost tab. Uh, just to make it easier for you, if you weren't paying attention. As you can see, look at that, units lost. Um, well, actually, we're in a battle right now where, we're, where we were doing very well. But, of course, my units lost skyrocket again. As you can see, definitely losing a ton more. The two of us combined, we've lost way more. But I've got that base expansion. As you can see here, look at that. Um, yeah, we're losing a ton more units, so that's 9,700 compared to 6,000. So that's 3,000 difference. So we're definitely way behind. We've been behind the whole game, but it just getting all of those extra bases, as you can tell, allows you to just 
um, outproduce your opponent and beat them.